More than 7,000 people in Mulitaka are in danger of facing landslide disasters in future and have been strongly recommended to be evacuated to safer locations immediately. This is according to the geotech engineers from both New Zealand and Papua New Guinea, following initial findings. A separate presentation by the engineers from the New Zealand Urban Search and Rescue and PNG Geoassets Management Division also recommended for a separate road to be constructed, as the current road also sits on unsafe grounds. The team presented the findings to the Enga Provincial Disaster Committee Chairman Sandy Saka, witnessed by the High Commissioners of Australia and New Zealand, senior management from New Pogra Limited, and donor agency representatives. Team leader of New Zealand Urban Search and Rescue, Dr. Jan Kupek, said new landslides are imminent from the top of Mount Mogaulo, where the source of four streams make the land there unstable. He highlighted that over 1,500 people living in Kaundak Ward 14, which is at the foot of Tulipa, now completely buried, were at 100% risk of facing more landslides from the rubbles, mostly huge round stones which are currently piled at the disaster site and also from the mountain top. Dr. Yan added that two additional communities that are vulnerable to landslide include Pokolip and Yuyango, as they are located within the red zone. He therefore strongly recommended for these communities to be evacuated immediately. Dr. Yan also urged government authorities to discourage people from walking with loads of cargo over the rubbles back and forth, mainly from Pogorapila areas. He said the danger was that stones move faster in seconds than human beings, meaning it would be difficult for people to do anything to save their lives if they were at the red zone when a landslip disaster struck. With regards to road connection to the giant Pogra mine and people of Pogra and Pila district, he recommended that it was not safe to clear debris at the disaster site to open up the road access again for travel. He therefore recommended for a reconstruction of three to four kilometers road at the back of the mountain and said that would be safe to avoid similar disasters in future. However, Dr. Yan also said a temporary bypass can be created through the disaster site, but with extra caution, by installing radars to monitor the situation in the disaster zone. Meantime, Mr. Saka had a meeting with other relevant government agencies, including works, mining, MRA and NPL, after the presentation, to look at the best possible options to evacuate the people in the vulnerable zone and to reconnect Pogera, which has been closed for more than 13 days since the disaster struck. Ruth Rungula, TV1 News.